Goodbye. Oh, no, not yet. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Hello friends, welcome to episode 16 of Dub Life, and I'm home. I am in the toy room, and I might be home for this entire video. That'd be wonderful. Uh, it is a Friday afternoon, I leave Monday morning to go to, I have to start in New York on Monday, and then work my way to uh, an area of New Jersey near Philadelphia, Monday evening. And then all week next week, I've got uh, corporate presentations that I have to make, national meeting, different stuff like that. Uh, so there's not a lot to film on that. So I may do this entire episode be the weekend here in Atlanta. And then those few days, you can catch me on the Instagram and then start the next episode once I'm back home. Or I may take you with me if, there, if I have an opportunity to show you something. I don't know yet. I'll decide as this weekend progresses. It's a busy weekend. Victoria will be coming over this evening. Possibly my other sister, Kim, and her husband, Mike, will be coming over this evening. Uh, I don't know. We'll go do something tomorrow, I'm sure. Uh, you'll probably see David this weekend. You might see Steve and Drew this weekend. Maybe we'll see Adonis. I don't know. There could be a lot going on. So uh, it could be a pretty busy episode. Uh, I do know that we're going to watch the Royal Rumble on Sunday, and uh, that's exciting. So to start with, I'm in the toy room. I have all this stuff that I picked up uh, on the trip this week from the previous episode. And I wanna open it up, take some pictures, and show you what I'm working with. Here's the first one we're looking at, the SH Figure Arts Jedi Luke. He comes with the uh, alternate hands and glove hands. This is like the hilt, so you can take out the blade of the lightsaber and I guess have it on his belt. Different head, and then the alternate Vader head, which I do like that alternate Vader head. Uh, I only have the first SHF Vader, and you can see I have him with the bounty hunters there, so I want him to have his regular head for now, but eventually I'll use that head once I get the second Vader that they've released. Uh, once I get all these SHF open, we'll, we'll show them all together standing up, but that's the Luke, and here is Super Saiyan Goku, uh, the first time they made it, that one, I think way back 2011-12. Uh, I actually like it. It's in good shape. I got it off eBay. And as you can see, I don't have a ton of regular Super Saiyan Goku. I have that one. Um, most of mine are in some other form of Goku. So uh, it's good to have that for the collection. I'm excited for that. I think I'll probably use the uh, transportation fingers on this. You see he's got the different things and the screaming head. I think it looks good, actually. I'm happy with this. The third SH figure art, of course, the War Machine Mark I from Iron Man 2. Again, shout out to Josh Pence. This was my Christmas present from him, and I'm very excited to have it. Lots of great effects with War Machine, and I think this, this is probably the most desired War Machine to date, although the Infinity War War Machine's coming soon and looks wonderful as well. So uh, I'm not sure how I'm going to pose this guy. Let's, uh, let, let's whip it out now. There these guys are, looking good. Uh, War Machine will, of course, go in the wall of Marvel. Luke will go over there on that shelf. And Goku will join his friends. So, uh, let's, let's get them on the shelf and then move to these guys here. Popeye! Quick shout out. This, uh, I know you've probably heard it a lot, but what an awesome packaging that Mezco did on this. Mezco exclusive classic sailor Popeye embossed can lid. That's just super cool. I'm not an inbox guy or I don't, I, I keep my Mezco packaging just because it's easy to keep up with the stuff, but that's awesome. Just a smidgen more because of packaging cool. It has these tabs. I close it up, you open it up, then you can take this clamshell out or take this insert out of the clamshell. Sorry. I, that's just impressive. So that's how I'm going to display him with the pointer finger and the compass and the beanie and the pipe without the smoke. You can see the regular Popeye got in the sailor hat. There's smoke coming out of the pipe. He's crushing the spinach and the telescope. That way I'm displaying him with a lot of his different accessories. 
I'm having a good time. Look at this artwork. Using the figure from the insert of this Hoth Lay I'm about to, to set up. That's really good. This is the Lay I really wanted. I got it at Toy Department. Shout out to Toy Department uh, just this week. Fabulous! She doesn't have the most accessories ever, but she doesn't need it. She looks great. Her normal blaster, other blaster, like a trooper blaster, the hands. Now, I got to get it out. There she is. I like the uh, the blaster with the silencer, and there's her stand. I think that's the way you got to pose her, right? Hey! Now we get to Palpatine. He's got a huge box. Here he is. You'll see him closer in a minute. Has a lightsaber and a cane and some hands. But then... Uh, he has a regular stand. Oh, by the way, I'm watching Gaming Historian. If you don't follow that channel on YouTube, uh, Norm, he's great. But then here is the throne. They put some batteries in it. See the lightning effect or whatever, the base. People say he can't sit in the throne, which is unfortunate, but it'll be all right. So uh, I got to do some assembly, and then I'll show you what it looks like. So it is kind of awkward getting him in the throne. And I don't know, maybe without the base, if it'd be different. Because it makes it like a high chair. I'm not sure. I mean, you can do some different things to make it work. But like that particular position doesn't work. Anyway, I want to see what this lightning looks like. So I've got him with this cane and the saber in front of the chair. And that looks pretty good. I'm happy with that. Although I do think I'm going to try to get him in the chair and see if David can... Uh, Maybe give him a little booster seat or something. Hey. All right, lightning. There we go. We got the lightning on his hands. I got Leia sitting in the chair. I'm going to try to take a little picture here. But, uh, yeah, the lightning's kind of cool. I wish they made it molded to his fingers a little better. It's just kind of one size fits all. But, uh, you know, the Palpatine's not great. He looks good, but there's some disappointing aspects of this for as expensive as it is. I don't often talk negatively about figures, but it's it's not wonderful for the price point. She can't sit in the chair right either. I think part of it is because, uh, you know, we there's not enough articulation, the ankles, that area of hot toys often, or any toy really, to move just like a human does. And the way we sit in a chair is, uh, you know, hard to articulate, I suppose. Anyway, lightning in it. Hope you enjoyed a little time in the toy room. It's not often I get to do that. I know that's different than a normal double life where I'm crazy all over the place here. I just sat in the same place for like an hour. So it was fun. Uh, anyway, Victoria will be here not too terribly long. I got to give her her prizes from the Funko Warehouse, Funko Headquarters. And I don't know what we're doing tonight. Still don't know. So uh, we'll talk to you when Vicky gets here. The cleaners were just here this morning too in the house. Looks very nice and clean. Yes. So that's where we got Leia and Palpatine down there. And uh, there's War Machine. But we have Victoria now. Hi. And Victoria, I have prizes for you from right there. These? Yeah. Those are prizes. Okay. Are you excited? Whatever could it be? I don't know. Oh. Huh. It's in a Funko box. It is. It's very confusing. Oh, what could this be? I was be? expecting it to be a Funko. Well, maybe it is. No? It's a peanut butter mountain bar. Oh. Yay. Huh. Huh. Well, that's, uh, that's... well, put it in the mouth. So cool. what, about the, what do you think the other one is? A chocolate mountain bar? Well, let's see. <laughs> I like to put them together. Silly Funko. That's odd. Oh, well, this... Is it a mummy? Well, I'm... Uh, Why not show the people? What's that? I have absolutely no idea. Oh, so it's, it's a, a mystery. It's a mystery, it is. Funko's flagship store. That's a cool box though. I've never seen that before. Yeah. Because huh. it's from Funko's flagship store. Yeah, it's cool. Do you think it's it going to be a mountain bar? No, it feels heavier than the mountain bar. Oh. 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 What is it? It's Super King Big Dub, the pop with the sucker pop. What? That's Super King Big Dub. 
With the sucker pop? Yeah, he holds a sucker pop in his hand so he oh. can lick it. Oh. And squeeze it. That is actually quite cute. It's Super King Big Dumb. Show him. everybody. Oh, I'm sorry. I was playing with the lollipop. Look at him. So that way you can have Super King Big Dub with you <laughs> at wherever you want to go. Are you excited by that? So, like, I have these few items at work where it's like if I'm feeling mad, I have the Hulk yes. upon the pedestal. And then I have Odin if I'm feeling smart. Yes. Um, what, 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 if I put him on the pedestal, what does that mean I'm feeling? You would like to go to lunch. Oh, he's going to be living on the pedestal. Uh, yeah. Always like lunch. You like food. So oh, that food. is, so you want to keep all your. Okay. Because that's from Funko headquarters where you create your own pop. That's so cool. And uh, that's Super King Big Dub. I made. No idea. Look at that, my monster. My pink squeeze it monster. Oh. You have Super King Big Dub. I had no idea what that was because I don't. I was like, I don't know who hey, Freddy is. Freddy Funko is the mascot of Funko. Oh, well, that makes more sense then. Yeah. Sorry, folks that obviously knew that, but Victoria didn't know. Sorry. We're not buying the Funkos for the trying to no. win the lottery like people do with the Freddy Funko. We buy them to play with them. No, I just like, like, oh, cute Harry Potter. Yeah, yeah, G'd up from the feet up. So, uh, which do you like more, <laughs> um, Super King Big Dub <laughs> Pop or uh, Peanut Butter Mountain? Oh, well, definitely the Pop. Well, although... Because you haven't tried them. Uh, that's yet. true. I have not tasted that, is, that yet. That is on, from Seattle. Okay. Brought for dessert for you. Okay. Say that's chicken. Exciting. Chicken. All right. All right. Alexa, what is the weather right now? Right now in Buford, it's 33 degrees Fahrenheit with clear oh, skies. But I'm in pajamas and barefoot. With a low of 26 And we got to get cheesesteaks. Victoria is here and um, we have to go get dinner. We're gonna get cheesesteaks. I'm just gonna go with pajamas and thong sandals. What are you, do you think that's a good choice? Well, I'm wearing Uggs. I haven't taken, I've just been in pajamas all day. I mean, that's okay. Your feet aren't gonna be outside for very long. So you think the pajamas aren't the issue, it's the thong sandals? Yeah, your feet are gonna be cold. Oh. We're gonna go with cheesesteaks now. Say squeeze it. Squeeze it. Ha ha ha, rub it. We're at the WNB Wings and Burger Factory. Are you excited? It's delicious. The cheesesteak is. Oh, the I'm best. stupid because I'm in thong sandals and I'm out here, but you know, we're going to do it anyway. We're going to eat for here. It goes on and on and on. Sing. That gentleman wants to sing. Yeah, you're not Strangers waiting. No, no singing. No. When the phone rings, it turns off Journey, and now everyone is sad. Oh. Ooh, cheesesteak and fries, cheesesteak and oak. Are you excited? Mm -hmm. Is it the taste of freshness? Very well. Did you Very pass hot. gas just then? I heard it. Very hot. Oh. Well, we're done with the cheesesteak and... Oh, safety. Oh. And uh, I've got a fruit punch. I'm in pajama thong sandals. Head of safety. And we're going to Kroger because <laughs> Victoria said she wants a challenge. Oh. I... Sw I mm. Hey! What is going on in the, we couldn't go in the entrance and they've got all, this is the one way you're allowed to go to Kroger at nine o'clock only. Victoria. Yeah. I have a challenge for you. Oh. Go get some more carts and block this one entrance oh. off and tell everybody, sorry, Kroger's closed. I'll give you $8. <laughs> no, I'm not going to do that. Oh. I think the only thing we're here for is to see that they have the super duper stuffed Oreo, love delicious. Loins cookies, right, Victoria? Um, yeah, maybe try this part of that drink. Oh, well, surely there is Love's Oreos, and I was just making that up. But, you know, it speak it into existence. Heard that. It's Double dumping. stuffed. I don't see birthday cake, red velvet, chocolate peanut butter pie. That sounds fantastic. But no uh, thickest, juiciest Oreos ever, but... Maybe we should get the love Oreos. What do you think? I gotta see if they're like a flavor or just. Are they just pink? Red, yeah, red coloring. That's no good. Uh, limited edition. It doesn't seem to say that. It says Dunkin' Love. I think it's just. Hold like them over your head and yell out Dunkin' Love for that gentleman right there. No. Here we've got the non-Oreo brand Oreos and the mini Oreos and ooh, fruit punch. Dark chocolate flavored cream and carrot cake. That just sounds horrendous. I don't know. Victoria. Yeah. Did you place that sushi right there with the Oreos? <laughs> no, I did not. We are back. 
Victoria just said, I have fuzzy pants and ran away. I don't know what that means exactly. Only one person commented about my pajamas with thong sandals and they, a complete stranger driving through the Kroger parking lot, rolled down the window and said, ain't your feet cold? You know, touch it. We did pick up something on the hunt, you know. We got the uh, peanut butter chocolate pie Oreos. And I think we're going to watch some True Detective, some Punisher, maybe some Dragon Ball, uh, that kind of stuff. Uh, so uh, check back in with you in a bit. Eh, ooh, wait a second now. Let me give you the little... Uh, Oh, squeeze the ammo! Meanwhile, oh, it smells so good. Graham cracker, peanut butter, chocolate pie, Oreos, and they've resealed themselves, and that makes me sad. No, nope, there it is. Ooh, that smells so good. Oh, oh, I'm going to bum. Just a brief Palpatine update. You see that the base is now down there under his feet. Darren Thompson uh, from Facebook and the various groups, uh, Pence Pack Group and what have you, told me that at Secret Base, that's how they had it displayed with the base under the feet. Now it doesn't look like he's in the high chair anymore. So I uh, appreciate that, Darren. And with that, I think I'm ending today. Hope you've enjoyed the day. Uh, tomorrow, I don't know what Victoria and I are going to do. I think Kim, our older sister Kim and her husband Mike may come over. And um, we'll see what happens. So, at any rate, talk to you in the morning. Hey, yo. Saturday morning. Good morning. Uh, had a nice sleep. Trying to uh, relax a little bit while I'm at home. And uh, it was nice. So, I know so far this morning we're going to go run to GameStop and see our buddy James. We may get a Target. We would like to find those new Oreos, but I don't know where they are. So, we're uh, kind of on a little Oreo hunt, you know. And uh, then, I don't know what else is going to happen. But I wanted to welcome you to today. And let's see what mischief we can get into. So, as Victoria's ready. All right, now. Everybody. On the count of three. I want you to give me a sniff it. One, two, three, sniff it! Also, rather than the thong sandals, I'm gonna rock my Ugg uh, loafer things with the fur. You know, the Uggs with the fur. Hey! All right, vehicle. Hey. We have one mission, and that is to find the most stuffedest Oreo cookies. Even though the peanut butter pie, graham cracker, chocolate ones we got, absolutely, they're delicious. fantastic. You don't need milk or anything. They are. I recommend. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 10 out of 10. You should get that for sure. But we're looking for the most stuffed Oreos just because I believe they're limited time. I think they're only going to be here for a little bit. So uh, we're going to find them. That's what we're on the hunt for. That's right. And we're going to go see James and we're going to get lunch. And then our siblings are coming over. Uh, is there anything else happening today, Victoria? NXT is tonight. Okay. Velveteen Dream, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Well, you know. That's right. All righty. I don't know him anymore. Your turn. Ew, I don't remember that part. <laughs> I love the way. I love the way. Big boy. Hello. Target. Stop one. We gotta find these Oreos. Busy. Target's busy. Maybe everybody's here for the Oreos. Do you want a challenge? Oh, I don't know. It's busy in Target for challenges. Yeah, there's, one there's a lot of people you could try to sell this. Uh... No. no? You didn't even let me give you the challenge. I don't understand why it doesn't have the Oreos that we want. Golden double stuff. White fudge dipped. Oreos thin bites fudge dipped. No. No! Hey, Victoria. Hey. You can go sit over there in that gazebo by the fire pit. Okay. And take your shoes off and warm your feet. Tell everybody how wonderful a fire pit it is and try to get them to buy it. And if so, I'll buy you lunch. I, I don't think so. No! Cuddle team leader. Victoria, you could ride that horsey, but you're not going to do any challenges because you're mean. 
see what they have over here. Oh, look at that. A whole lot of nothing. A whole lot of nothing over here. Uh, oh, good. Good old Dazzler. Still going strong. There's some weeping, it sounds like. Let's see what's over yonder here. Oh, look at that. The Shelton Benjamin, the gold standard. Is that the one that's... One of these is a chase. I don't know if it's that one. Uh... Flying Brian. All right. Not much here. Where is this? These are some new wrestlers. This has not been a successful trip to Target whatsoever. Doo doo. I just noticed this. It does look like they did a full wrestling restock. Maybe because the Royal Rumble. I don't know. I haven't seen the Goldberg one. I kind of want that. I have all the other entrance grades, and I believe this is the final one. If he's nest, still not on clearance. Same old, uh, I don't think there's anything. Best been laying. Nothing. What is that? No vow. Same old stuff. Oh, Ultimate Gremlin. He's cool. There's a lot of good pictures of him out there right now. Bad. Figure stand, uh, normal stuff, Funko. I don't even know. Oh, Altered Beast. I didn't know they were Altered Beast. I'm not paying attention to that. Doug. Here. Squeeze it. No Oreos. Victoria wouldn't do a challenge. Try again, GameStop. Hey! Touch it. Touch it. Yeah, touch it. Ooh, touch it! <laughs> Victoria. Yeah. Here. That's a horsey. One, two, three, go. One, two, three, go. Oh, no. Okay, it's a turn horsey. Around, I can't. Uh... It's a, uh, James, tell her it's okay to do the horsey. Not that. He's the manager. He said it's okay. So he's not going to kick you out? He's the supervisor. No, he's not going to kick you out. Go. What did they go? Oh, my God. Ah, horsey! <laughs> That's all you're getting from me, Brian? Hmm. Well. <laughs> ah, pickle Rick! Ah! Jim Lee Flash and Jim Lee Aquaman with the... Uh, I don't know what that is. Whatever it is, it's Tupac. It's dead for sure. It's Tupac? It's dead for sure. Oh. And there's a statue. I don't know what that is. Lack, my lack of comic Aquaman knowledge showing. I like a little Barry, though. He looks good. He's got a little squirrel coming out, you know. Where there's been a thing there has not been a Cory. Is Cory popular? But, like, no, how do you get they just one? just made more tangas, I assume, because she's yeah. popular. But do, are you hoping that Cory, so you can touch it? No. no. I would have bought it the other night if I were to do that. <laughs> Well, Wait. righty then, hey! We're underneath the loudy loudspeaker, but that movie moment is cool. The Nightmare Before Christmas. There's Strawberry Gerald and Verse and Yon Rog. Hey, hey, ho oh, ha, Topanga! And they uh, pulling the scooter. Hey, James. Hello. Does the Tiger Zord and the Falcon Sword fit in the bag? Uh, always. So, did I get the discount on the bag sale? If the bag sale is going on. Oh, it's not the bag sale? Never. What do you have to say out there to the to the, those freaks out there in YouTube land? Big Papa Pump is your hookup? Uh, like and subscribe to Brian. He's cute. No. <laughs> Got the Dragon Ball section, but I'm going to sneak back here. Oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, oh. Hey, I'm on clearance. Hey, hey. Come purchase me. Hey. It's now lunchtime. We've uh, acquired zero things, which is okay. But Victoria, because she claims that even though I made the lunch offer at Target, that because she did a different challenge, she gets lunch. So Olive Garden, I guess. Are you excited? I am excited. Are you going to get a buffet of foods? It's a possibility. Or soup and salad. Well, that's kind of a buffet of food. It's unlimited. Unlimited. Hmm. <laughs> Fifty percent more chicken. I think I may create my own. 
all the cheese, Vicky. Yes, Tell no, all of good. it. Oh. <laughs> oh, I got cheese there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's wonderful. Thank you. That's good. Yes. Yes. Cheese in it. Ooh, spirals and cheeses and maters and spirals and cheeses and maters. Sniff it, Victoria. Sniff it. Oh, sniff it. Sounds good. Back at the house, and it's time for some Saturday afternoon. Just lay around, not do a whole lot. Got a little thing from the post office. They tried to deliver a package. And it required a signature, and I wasn't here. Why, eBay seller, did you send it with signature confirmation and not tell me? Would have appreciated it. Then I could have dealt with it. But no. Now I'm not going to get it for like two weeks because I'm going to be out of town. So poopy. Oh, well. Tell people that you send it with signature requirement. I appreciate the signature requirement. But tell me. You know, hey. So... Anyway, time for a little rest. A little Z's maybe, you know, a little nap, hey! So my favorite artist is Piet Mondrian, who is an abstract artist that does a lot with geometrical shapes. And so, she made me this for my house. It's gonna go right there on that wall here, and I'm excited for it. So, if you look up Mondrian, you'll see a lot of his famous works of art that look similar to this, and they're all ridiculously expensive, like multi-millionaire expensive. But this one is special to us because that is downtown Atlanta, and she's recreated it in a way that Mondrian is, and specifically, the things that are the colors are the buildings of Dragon Con in downtown Atlanta. So it is a super unique thing that she's made for me to hang on my wall to go with all my other collection stuff, and I am very, very happy about it. It looks fantastic. Kim, thank you for my prize. You're I offer welcome. you for your prize, Marvel Legend. Oh, it's and Mike, Marvel. here's your prize, Spider-Man. It's a Spider-Man. With six it's arms. Marvel. Aren't you excited? Marvel, yay. Kimmy did a wonderful job on the painting, didn't yeah. she, Victoria? Yeah, it's super cool. It's going to fit perfectly on the wall. I just oh, need David. Happy. We okay. need David. Everybody say squeeze it. Squeeze it. Hey, rub it. We just been hanging out for a couple hours. I played some Zelda. We played some Switch, and now we're at uh, Jack's Old South Barbecue. Three times the world champ. This is delicious. Jack's is delicious. So it's myself, sister Victoria, sister Kim, and Mike. We're gonna barbecue and then uh, maybe go look for Oreos again. Oh yes. Mmm. -hmm. Green beans. Victoria. Yeah. Did you order Chinglish chops for lunch? No. Oh. Also, it's dinner. Kim, you? Chaps? Uh, chicken. Mike, chaps? No chaps this time. Oh. I believe it's on the menu. Ooh, yummo. Barbecue yummo. How did everyone like their dinner? I loved it. It was, it was delicious. Great. Yes, chicken in the mouth? Yep. Well, not now it's in the stomach. Oh, do we, are we getting a cookie or are we going to go look for Oreos? I mean, I think that I would like to walk over to the cookie just to see if they have the domino, which is my favorite. Oh, cookies are this way. Cookies! Can I put my stuff in the car before we walk to cookies? All of you say, rub it. Rub it. <laughs> rub it! All month long. What? All month long. <laughs> no, what? Spot. Look at this. Oh, my. oh, it is the hot spot. It's because it's buy one, get one free brownies. All not wrong. All right, when y'all walk in, I'm about to say, oh, oh, safety! Oh! Why you got that look on your face? You just passed gas? No, I was looking at the sign. You didn't even say safety. I did not. I, I, did I, not. I said safety right when I walked in. Oh. Look at the ice creams. Red velvet cake ice cream. If I give you three dollars, would you ask could you get in the ice cream cooler? Like are we talking cash or are we talking quarters, dimes, dollars? Three dollars cash right now you have to ask. One, two, three, go. You have to get in it. No, you, you said just have sure. to ask if you can get in it. They're gonna say no. Oh. We didn't go to get Oreos, but we're having a a, a heated discussion over whether it would be convenient to have the Hulkbuster suit when you go to CVS to get your prescriptions? The answer is no. Well, I don't know. Kim had a good thought with the with the double suit mechanic of things. Right, you know, because you're inside the Iron Man suit, inside the Hulkbuster suit, so you can get out of the big one, go do your human size stuff, and then get back in. Yeah, I mean, it wouldn't look weird if you're getting like the Wallabies Gourmet Licorice just in the 
Iron Man suit. I don't think it's you know, normal. I'm sure there's some special compartments in the Hulkbuster to keep your shop. Oh, yeah. Just, just like the, the butt flap of pajamas. Like, it's got like, that. Open yeah. up the thing and then you put your bags in there. You Mike, know. your thoughts? Where, where is the boot in the, uh, the Hulkbuster costume? T and the B. Oh, All right. Well, <laughs> Kim and Mike. Mike's warming up the car. Kim's about to leave. Victoria and I are about to call it an evening. Uh, I didn't show you a lot of footage because we're just hanging out, you know, kicking it. We watched Fury Road, Mad Max Fury Road, which I think all of us forgot how good a movie that is. But it's awesome. And now I want to buy a Furiosa hot toy. Well, they don't have a hot toy. What was it? VTS Toys. Yeah. Artistic Fur interpretation. Yeah. I'm about to get it. Anyway, in the video for now, for the day, talk to you in the morning. Royal Rumble Day in the morning. Oh, Mike, say rub it. Um, it. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> Happy Royal Rumble Sunday, Victoria. Yeah. Ah, ah, needle. Oh. Ah. It is Royal Rumble Sunday. I'm playing with needle. You know, hey. And uh, we're about to go get some lunch. So I wanted to welcome you to today. Uh, today probably will be the longest part of this video, probably the final part of this video, depending. Um, I know that Drew is on his way here. He'll be here in the next hour and a half. Steve will be here a few hours later. If David's able to come, he'll be here around that same time. And around that time, Victoria's leaving. Oh, she doesn't want to come to Royal Rumble. Oh. I do. I just have to work at 8 a.m. tomorrow. Oh, well, that's true. So, uh... That's what's on tap for today. When Drew gets here, I imagine Drew and Victoria and I will go run around and find something fun to do. Uh, we'll go over the Royal Rumble rules later so you can see the game we play and uh, different things like that. And also, I put on pants today, not pajamas. So how about that? All right, we're going to get some lunch. It's time for Mexican Buffet Brunch. We're at Cabo's Mex Grill, which uh, may as well be its own recurring guest star on Dub Life as often as we come here. They have a Sunday brunch. Uh, it's a buffet, but it's like all kind of stuff. Grill, omelet, Mexican food. It's really good. They are, it's a high quality Mexican place. They only do it for a couple hours on Sunday. And we just end up here a lot because it's delicious, you know. So uh, buffet in it. This is my jam too. Oh yeah, now put some food on the plate, oh yeah, hey! Victoria was so excited for rice, she threw rice on that gentleman. She scooped it out and threw it on him. She saw it too. She saw it. She saw that happen. <laughs> Victoria. Yeah. Look how many people are in line at the buffet. It's at her table. Yeah. That's, there's like a hundred people in line at the buffet. Oh my goodness. Say squeeze it. Squeeze it. Tell everyone that you passed gas at the buffet. Tell them. I didn't. That's not true. Uh oh. It was certainly the busiest that uh, I think I've ever seen that place. There was a party of 21 people, and it was like they had a buffet packed where all of them would get up to go get food at the same time yes. and get in line. Like, there's no reason for that. <laughs> Why you just want to impact everybody else's brunch buffet? But uh, it was delicious. Yes. Now, uh, we have a thought that maybe... Those Oreos were street dated since it's now officially quote unquote Super Bowl week. So we're gonna go Kroger, see if they have Oreos. Plus I gotta get some stuff for the Royal Rumble challenges, you know. It's busy in Kroger too. It's busy everywhere. What's why? Why so busy? Rub it! Oh, it's just the same stuff. Carrot cake Oreos, doo doo. Gonna need that, yes. Definitely gonna need that. What about sushi? Should I incorporate that into the challenges? No? Yeah, I think that'll work. Ooh. Jumex mango nectar. Yep. We are back home from Kroger and lunch. We've got the implements that we need for the uh, game tonight, a little rumble game, which you will learn more about once everybody's here. We'll go over the rules, all that. I may do a live stream, even though this is in the past, and uh, we'll talk more about it. For now, we're waiting for Drew to get here, and then the next set of fun will begin. We found a friend. Hello. 
Whoa! AJ Styles, Andrew Jones. Uh, and look at his uh, bag. That's a New Day bag. It he is. also brought a prize for me. A little present. Ooh! Lego Negan. We like that. So, Drew, it's uh, 2.47. Uh, I... I think we got like two hours before anyone else will be here. I don't know. Victoria must have diarrhea. I don't know where she went. Oh, but, uh, Victoria, diarrhea? Yes. Yeah, I guess well, yes. As, as we've learned from last video, right? As, avoidance. Uh, yeah, avoidance is key. Yeah, that, people were fans of that discussion. <laughs> um, we're going to go get in some trouble. We're at the Walmart now. Drew's looking at naughty things on his phone. Uh, Victoria, what's wrong? Nothing's wrong. Did you just pass gas? You've been passing a lot of gas. Uh, <laughs> I think they do sell that here. Oh, that big bear. That could be trouble. We're going to look for Oreos and uh, find some prizes for the challenges and what have you. Well, that, this, this could be a challenge. The, uh, oh. Drew has issued a naughty challenge and I'm going to, oh, dip. Oh, I don't. Look, fudge covered Oreo, Victoria. Isn't that your item? Well, the, the specific one is actually the fudge covered mint. You have such, such specifications. Well, I'm just saying that's the one I'm talking about. You those... said, oh, I've always wanted this in my loins, and then I find it, and you're like, well, uh, technically, it's, it's the mint. That all of that's untrue. Oh. So they don't have what we want, but sometimes we just keep putting more cookies in the sack. You know what they say about cookies in the sack, don't you? <laughs> Extra creamy. Drew, yeah, do you want that Aaron Rodgers, Drew? You know, I already have an Aaron Rodgers. Uh, it's from starting lineup. You want Brady? No. No? Handsome Jack? No? It's not a whole lot of... There's Wreck-It Ralph. Nothing, uh... Nothing too terribly intriguing for your for your pants here? No, huh? no, no. You know, if the, the, the whole grail of what I'm looking for is, if you remember the old starting lineup... Uh, you know, statues that they used to make. I would love to find a Chipper Jones one. I don't that think that'll be, be a Walmart. No, I know. You may have to, you have to show a little skin to get the, that. Yeah. In the nude. Drew. Yes, sir. What is this? Go ahead. It's a horsey. It's a horsey? Ride it. Give us a horsey. Ride the horse? Give us a little horsey. Ride that thing now. I one, two, three, go. I think just... Horsey! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Oh, that's a solid horsey. Yeah, that was good, right? We could get this mammoth as the prize, or the dino wrangler. I don't think that's what we want. All right. Here's the new AJ Styles. We want that to be the prize, or the new Braun Strowman. And of course, twelve years later. Oh, here we go. Yeah, we find the tag team <laughs> championships. <laughs> Is that one of those could be our prize? What do we got? The tag team the cruiserweight title. Oh, Brutus Beefcake as the Hogan? No. No? He's no good. What about the Ronda? No. No. Oh, well, feel it. They do have the Finn Balor, but uh, he's got a little... He's got a little uh, poo-poo on his nose, so I think I'm not going to get the poo-poo nose Finn. Can any of this be the trophy? This... Horrific Sandman or Vulture. We're looking for a trophy for the winner. The grand winner. Whoever ends with the most money can win a prize. Drew just touched my bottom. That's why you heard a little, uh, little squeak. Hey! Nothing here. Carnotaurus. Walmart has decided officially, like, they're tired of having this stuff here. Four fifty nine. Nine cents, like they're they're done. Medusa, they're done having this here. Isn't that the title that she threw in the trash in Augusta, Georgia? I think so. Yes. Hey, Victoria. Yeah. Look at this. Wind me up. Watch me poop candy. Do you want this? No. I thought you enjoyed that. No. The candy's probably bad. You told me you've always been wanting a poop candy winder. Absolutely untrue. I like it. Epic lie. We've definitely found the trophy for the winner, and it is the. No, it's not that. It's this guy. Watch this. Look at this. Everybody, look at this. It's wonderful. No? Roar. Hello, bear. Hello, bear. Victoria. Yeah. I have a challenge for you. Get down one of those. There's one already there. Yeah, get it down. It's down already. Put it on the ground. 
Like sitting on the ground? Yeah, just lay it on the ground. Oh, oh. Lay it. Well, n not there. I mean, he's just All right, like now lay down on it and take a nap. One, two, three, go. I can take a nap. Go. One, two, three, go. One, two, three, go. Go, go. One, two, three, go. Go, go. Why? Oh. Oh, no. You got to lay. Oh, your goodness. Oh. Take a nap. <laughs> Don't fall into the shelf and put yourself for sale. <laughs> $89, though. That's not bad. Oh, you're not asleep. That's not bad. Is that fun? No, not really. Hold on. One more time. <laughs> Oh, how sweet. We've reached this part of the trip. I, it's it's chaos. Push them. Yeah, touch them. Yeah, rub them. Ah, oh. oh, put them in the mouth. Oh, wait, that's not appropriate. That's my, that's my clip break. Oh! Somehow, we've spent eighty-two sixty-six on this stuff. Oh, my. Girl, I know you really touch it. Come on, Drew. Ha! You just don't. We just spent eighty-three dollars at Walmart on nothing. On a, uh, absolutely well, nothing. not nothing. We we now have rubber bands. We now have a bacon seasoning. But but well, well no, they'll see it. Like, they've seen it. They'll see it. The oh, torquing right, dinosaur right, right. that will be the trophy, and uh, and we're going to another Walmart. No good. Diarrhea. It's only two this time though, not twenty-two. Walmart again. I don't know what we're doing. Looking for Oreos, that's it. That's all we're doing here. Looking for Oreos, that's the thing that Steve got in that time. Vicky, do you want to get in that? Yeah, or is this the best? yeah? no, yeah. it is. Come on, Oreos. Come on, Oreos. Come on, Oreos. Kick them daisies. That's not it. Double stuff. No. Oh. There's the dark chocolate ones. Birthday cake. Mint. Poop on you. Oh, 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 oh. oh, oh, oh. Mega, Mega stuff. stuff. What a teaser. Drew asked for assistance and the gentleman pointed us to the, oh, 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 ow, oh, ow, oh, ow. Oh. <laughs> the Razor Ramon. Oh, they almost got taken out. Yeah, hey. Oh, there it is. The sacred ones. We found them. Victoria, how does that make you feel the most stuff? Uh, that's wonderful because we've been to... Well, I don't know. I went like to three stores store, on my no. own and then another couple here, so... Do you want to ride them like the horsey? No. You eat them. You don't ride them. Do you think that lady behind you wants you to ride them like the horsey? Absolutely not. There's Doc Ock. Vicky, do you want Doc Ock for your know. face piece? There's Zamazoo. No? Do they have a $5? Ow, 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 ow. He's got a, I got taken out. He's got a good face. Good face fin over there? Good face fin. Do they have the... Oh, they do have some. Oh, this can't be full price, You've already right? got the Shawn Michaels. That, that, that can't be full price, right? You said you already got Shawn Michaels. I they do. have Seamus. I don't want him. Oh, poor Seamus. But they do have... They have James Ellsworth. They do have... Oh, that one you need. Oh, 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 oh. Stop him, stop him. <laughs> well, we're going to GameStop because, you know, why not? Your recommendation. Well, you know, we got to look for the clearance. Rasslers. Victoria, are you going to get that uh, Vegeta right there? I am not. Oh. We're at the, uh, looking for some clearance. Is that Muscle Moon Rustler some clearance? <laughs> Half off the clearance rack, you know. That's when it gets uh, tempting. Victoria, are you going to get the Evil Seed or the Lord Mask? I am not. Oh. There's Star Wars Feel Me on clearance down there. Joker from Persona 5 Figma. It's the first time I've seen that. Pretty nice, actually. I kind of want that. We're back from Walmart, and Drew just immediately whipped open the Oreos and said, we're not waiting for the guests. We're, we're just not. eating. So put it in the mouth. Most stuff. That's my line. Oh, oh, oh. Mm. Oh, my God. Oh. Mm? Mm -hmm. You can only eat, like, one of these. <laughs> <laughs> Creamy. Got a deep dish. <laughs> All right, we're all here. Steve has deep dish. As you heard, David's here, Drew's here, I'm here. We each are going to pay $10 entrance. That gets you into two Royal Rumbles. You pay a dollar per number. If the person you select wins, you win half of the money because it's divided across the two pots. However, there are 10 things that can happen that if your person does that, you have to complete a challenge. Correct. Well, Steve's coming in like Whoa. million dollar man. Hey. And there are 14 challenges to choose from, and you have to. Otherwise, you disqualify and forfeit all of your monies. So that's the way the game works. Below me as I'm talking, I put the challenge items in the challenge list. 
So you can read those. We about to get it on. Everybody say touch it. Touch, touch it. it. Squeeze it. And um, since, you know, I mean, you know, I like that you're late and like you, your wife's like mad at you because you're late because the party would have felt bad. Like, <laughs> yes. Bring flowers. Yes. I'm not going to bring flowers to y'all, but I do have a prize. What is the prize? Oh, oh well, I want you to look and see. Whoa. Hopefully, maybe you already have it. But if not, I, I, I try to make up for it. Steve brought prizes. Oh, Boba Fett. Wonderful. What a friend of friends. Thanks, Steve. Rub your nipples. Steve came thinking we're going somewhere. After the rumble, hey. Here we go. There's the money in the pot. Are we ready? Ready. Ready. Ready? Sure. All right, look, well, we can eat and relax for a bit before a rumble starts. Anybody have any final words before all this doomsday begins? Did you get diapers too? So we've got our numbers picked. Money in the money's in the dragon egg. I'll put show you whatever numbers pay people blah, 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 down below. So far, I'm one for one on my rumble picks. Yeah, uh, Becky lost. Which means she's going to win the Rumble, which we both thought. Yep. So I'm just going to give some examples of challenges because I don't think Steve or David have read them. <laughs> so, for instance, one of the challenges you could have to do. So what happens is if one of the things happen and you enter the challenge, it means you have to do a challenge, you get to pick off the list, whichever one you want to do. And then that one is removed from the list. So as more challenges happen, the worse the ones are that are remaining. Right. So here's an example. Eat an entire box of hot tamales in three minutes. Oh. Not too bad, right? I mean, no, but... No. There is lather your arm in Purell and place one half pound of rubber bands on your arm and leave them there for 20 minutes. <laughs> That's another challenge. Uh, a third one I'll go ahead and give you a, a warning. Spray yourself in the face with the bidet... For five seconds. Oh, all right. So, uh, <laughs> it's going to be a good time. Hey, Steve. Mm -hmm. Do you remember when we were in school and uh, we had formed the Nation of Domination in school, in high school, and we invited you to join the Nation of Domination, and I shook your hand and we gave you the clothesline and threw you in the bushes and took your money for lunch? Still have emotional pain <laughs> smell to this day. Like it's it's go time. Women's Rumble about to begin. Who's, who's got Everyone one? seems so nervous. Number one for the Women's Rumble is Drew. Number two is me. All right. Come on, Becky Lynch at number two. Come Becky Lynch, Lynch at number two. Lynch. Come on, Becky. It's going to be so like Charlotte. Are, are we all excited? Uh, uh, man, trepidation. Yeah, I'm excited. I think you've now turned... The rumble into oh no, not the challenges. <laughs> no, I think you've now turned the rumble over to what uh, on what Levitard where they don't like football season. <laughs> <laughs> Drew got Lacey Evans, bad pick. No, but I'm okay. Number two is me, and I'm I need okay. Becky or but Charlotte. I'm okay, as far as challenges go, that's true. Unless she gets eliminated immediately. <laughs> <laughs> Becky Lynch or Charlotte Flair. Becky Lynch. Becky Lynch. I'm Charlotte sure Flair. I'd rather be one of the first ones to get challenged so I can get the easiest stuff out of the way. You don't want to do the Val Venus whipped cream bikini? Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Well, right? but there's a lot of Lacey Evans action going on here. Come on. Becky Lynch, Charlotte oh, Flair. She's going to chat. No, we don't want you to talk. We're trying to film a YouTube video here, Lacey Evans. Let's Lacey see who number two is going to be. It's taking forever. Natalia. I don't want that. That's gar no. That ain't winning. Poopy. That ain't winning. Oh, oh David. No. Mandy Rose. God's greatest creation. How does that make you feel? What about that, hey? No comment. <laughs> we had to do an instant replay because David has drawn oh, Liv Morgan. One, one two, two, three, three four, five, six, seven, eight. No! <laughs> David has <laughs> so the, the rule is, oh. if your person doesn't last 10 seconds, oh. you have to do a challenge. Nine. The, the challenge that David has selected is he's got to take this...
pack of strawberry protein stuff that you put in water. He's got to put it in his mouth for 20 seconds before he's allowed to have any water with it. Are you excited, David? <laughs> Drew's going to be our counter. All right, hold on. Let me, let me get the old timer. Get the old timer. All in the mouth. All right, you, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. 20 seconds, you said? 20 yeah. Seconds. Don't do it yet. Don't do it yet. Don't do it yet. Don't Steve, do give it. us a little shake now. A little shake. Uh, I'll save it for five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, rub it. Are right, you ready? We'll start on your on your mark, sir. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's only been two seconds. Oh, it, it is fitting that the Harley Quinn of the WWE, Harley Ten, Quinn David's favorite. Nine, eight, eight seven, <laughs> six, five, four, three, two, one. Water him, Steve. Water him. There you go. Yes. <laughs> and now he's got like a whole. Strawberry burst flavor in the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> so, David, how'd that go? Some more. I guess. How did it go, David? How do you feel? <laughs> we have an update. One of the things that triggers a challenge is if your person never gets in the ring to participate. David, who just did a challenge, has drawn Billy Kay, and she's refusing to get in the ring. <laughs> <laughs> oh my one of the things that triggers a challenge if you draw two members of a tag team or faction and uh, the other member of the Iconics just came out and David has them both so uh, challenge time uh, the bad part is this can happen three more times to him I feel bad David's not ha this is the first time he's ever watched wrestling watch and now he's got to eat a spoonful of bacon in a bottle so, uh, yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, Steve is somehow getting out of everything. The person people want to see do the challenges. Bacon in a bottle. Although, he, these are not the worst Just ones. Like, no, he's, he's actually knocking out the easy ones. <laughs> you did jinx yourself. You specifically said, I hope I at least lose early so that I get the easy challenges. Yeah. Yep. We're going to hear David use profanities, I fear. Before it's all said and done, I'm going to have to censor the video. Here we go. Spoonful of bacon in a bottle. Do we think this is going to be enjoyable? Drew, what do you think? Oh, that was awful. awful. I just don't know how. He needs to break it up a bit. Yeah, you got to give it a little shake. A little shaky shake. Give it a little jiggle. Done in by the Iconics, too. And that's unfortunate because the Iconics are iconic. Steve, give him some emotional support. Talk to him tenderly. Hey. All right, so just, you know, I mean, just don't think about it, just do it. Don't think about it, just do it. Put it in the mouth. Steve, you got to make sure it's an appropriate oh, 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 Yeah, no, I'm good. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's oh, that's, oh, you're good. You're just, that's fine. Oh, that's that's fine. Just think about oh, it, put it in the mouth. Okay, just do it. Do it! <laughs> Swig, swallow. <laughs> Come on. You got it. You got it, you got it, you got it, you got it. Big Get it. Yeah. yeah, big winner. Yes. Big winner. <laughs> How does that make you oh, feel? Oh, there might be vomit. <laughs> Gotta cut it here. Charlotte Flair drawn by Big Dub. Yes, yes. Everyone bow. Yeah, get out of the way. Look at the boot. Ah, ah. I'm winning the, I'm winning the money. Charlotte's winning it. I changed my pick. Charlotte wins. Ah. We're at the midway of the women's rumble. I'm in good shape. I got Ember Moon and Charlotte still in the match. Uh, David's had two challenges. Um, I also have Tamina, but I think she's been eliminated. And Natty Neidhart. There's not a lot of other potential winners in the ring right now. It's not real good. Lacey Evans is not winning. But she's not going to win. No. <laughs> Steve, you have the next pick. No, Drew has another pick than me. I got back-to-back -back picks? Yeah. That's the random number generator for you. I'm going to win. I'm confident with Charlotte Flair. I'm going to get Becky, too, just so I can have the trifecta. You know. Anybody object? Be dead to the face. We're about to be at number 21. We're back to David. If a tag team comes out, he has to do a challenge. And it could be Ruby Riot, and it could be Sonya Deville. Either of them could trigger a challenge for you. Are you looking forward to who comes out right here? Who do you think it's going to be, David? Let's see. You get to pick. Oh! <laughs> oh my God. Ah! Ah! It's Ruby Riot! Oh, David, I'm 
so sorry. David decided to take the double shot of the coffee creamer. You got to fill it up to the bottom of the letters. Bottom of the letters. Is that a double shot? Yeah. That's, I'm calling it a double shot. Oh, oh, hey, safety. Double shots are five seconds. Where shot is five seconds. So All right, so count to ten as you fill it up then. I'm fine with that. Yeah, I broke the light. You know, rub it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Was your way better or my way better? Or are they about the same? Well, chug it, big boy. Mine over my. Ruby Riot. You can thank Ruby for this. Mine over my. Water getting ready again. This is the third challenge for poor David, who's never watched wrestling. Oh, I heard it. I heard that noise. Tastes like bacon. <laughs> <laughs> this is my last one. If it's Naya, I have to do a challenge. I'm hoping it's Becky Lynch. I don't know who this is. I've had several in a row. Sonya Deville! Oh, good. So David is safe. No challenge, and David is saved from a challenge. Uneventful. Nothing to see here. David, does it make it better that you just drew Alexa Bliss? Look at her. And right when we thought David had it good, his final pick is Lana, who already was in the ring tonight, and we have a stipulation that if your person has already been in the ring tonight, you have to do a challenge. And she was a manager for Rusev. David, I'm sorry. I really thought David was safe. It's the upset of the century. Hey, Drew, you're on the pooper. Guess who David drew when we thought he was safe? Lana. So he's prepared to drink this whole can of mango. Why is this going to be your first experience? He's on his fourth challenge and no one else has had a challenge. Steve, do you feel bad enough for David to just do the Valvinus anyway? No. That's good. Are you serious? He John Lana. He draw Alexa Bliss too. But he got Lana. Oh, All right, David. Oh Bottoms up. That can't so, be so no it tastes good. You, you got it. You got it. It tastes like it. It, it tastes good. Just think it tastes good. It might taste good. Oh. Hey, it's not bad. Yeah, go ahead. Get that water. Yeah, you're good. I'm proud of David. Say rub it. Really, he, yeah. Mm. There's also a stipulation oh, that if your wrestler it. doesn't make it they're to chanting, the ring, back you back get back. a challenge. Oh no. Oh, David. David, do you want her to not make it to the ring if it means you get Becky Lynch, but you have to do yet another challenge? That means you win. You win money. At least all, I would want that for you. I would want that for you. Here we go. So David's getting Becky, it appears. If Fit Finley says yes. David, do you want Fit Finley to say yes, knowing it means a challenge? Wait, 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 wait. He has to say yes, David, but you have to get a challenge. Listen to the people. The people, Fit Finley says the people need it. David, what do you think? Are you silent? You don't want another challenge, do you? You know that they're running low. And you're like, you're not sure if to believe us if she should win or not because you have no idea who that Maybe person even is. Maybe she carries her. Do not do this. No. So David is in the scenario because Lana did not make it to the ring. It triggers a challenge for him. And he so, has chosen to put one of each five different flavors of Warhead in the mouth at once this, and this consume lot, them. This is a lot less dangerous. Steve, that, Steve, I have done this before. Who, had, for a who did 20 Warheads before. in a challenge yeah, one good. time now, and lost it, taste buds for a week. Yes, I did. <laughs> it is Don't do it. Trying to discourage. <laughs> I can't do that. You lost one question. It's not even like it won't even hurt. Just, and you lost good. taste buds for a week? <laughs> I got an Apple TV out of the deal, but still, it was poor. Gosh, it's off. So do David's it. doing the Warheads, are right? you? Yep. But he now has the odds on favorite to win the Rumble, which is a $50 uh, payout, I potentially. I want to win after this. All right. Well, we'll check back in when he has them in the mouth. Extreme Sour Warheads in the mouth. Five different flavors. Oh, Give them a good suck suck. Are they delicious? Ooh, ooh, quickly, quickly in pain. We're in the final six. I only have Charlotte 
left. Who do you have, Drew? Nia. Nia Jack. Steve, who do you have? Carmella. Carmella. David has Bailey, Alexa Bliss, and Becky Lynch. So even though he's done five challenges, the rest of us none, he does have 50% chance of winning. And now that percentage is lowered. We're down to just David and I. I got Charlotte. David's got Becky. Come on, Charlotte. I want the money. I don't care how many challenges he's done. I want done. David to win the money because getting five challenges somehow. <laughs> And he's doing the war. Charlotte, Charlotte, touch it, touch it, rub it. That, oh, in the greatest Royal Rumble game debut ever, David completes five, Steve's doing the suck it, five challenges, and even though Becky wasn't in the Rumble, somehow gets Becky and wins the cash. Right. Just make it rain. You want, yeah, make it rain, do it. Yeah, Do it, big oh, boy. Yes, yes, do yes. it. Yes. Woo-hoo, woo, yeah. <laughs> All right, so quick rundown. Here are the nine challenges remaining from when we get to the men's rumble. Eat four honey mustard packages straight. Do the full Val Venus entrance in a whipped cream bikini and towel. Wear the whiteout mask and ice up your groin for 20 minutes. Eat two whole habanero peppers in one minute. Eat an entire box of hot tamales in three minutes. Combine two different flavors of pudding and two different flavors of jello in a bowl and eat it. Do the boogeyman entrance using gummy worms. Lather your arm in Purell and put one half pound of rubber bands on your arm for 20 minutes and spray yourself in the face with the bidet for five seconds. Is there any one of those that anybody hopes happens for themselves? Just silence. No one's in on that. We just watched Lesnar keep the belt and all the other stuff. And uh, we're at number one, which is David's pick. Elias was giving us a concert. Does that excite you, David? Probably no challenge involved with Elias. I have number two, three, and four. Random number generator did me good, I think. There's a good chance of Rollins in one of those. I thought it was going to be Rollins, and I've got J E double F, J A double R, E double T. So number two is Jeff Jarrett. I had Jeff Jarrett. Here's where things get sticky. Rule number eight says, if the person you drew is making their WWE brand's debut or return after having been gone for a while, you must pick a challenge. Does not include NXT cops. That's rule number eight. Rule number nine says, if the person you drew is a WWE legend, not on the active roster, you must pick a challenge. So, can I tell you something? I, yeah. Jeff Jarrett's last appearance on any sort of wrestling TV was at All In. So you're saying this is not only Hall of Famer Jeff Jarrett coming back to WWE, this is also a wrestler making their return to WWE in that this one selection nets two? He, he walked Nick Aldis down to the ring for his NWA World Championship match. I don't know how that works in your world, but I'm just saying, he... he... We'll put it to a vote. Is this one challenge or two, Drew? Steve says two. two. David? That's the rules. <laughs> it's the rules. Just two, 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 Drew? 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 <laughs> I don't know. Oh, yeah, I vote one. I vote one, Drew. You're the tiebreaker. <sighs> do, do the right thing. <laughs> do the right thing. It's <laughs> a lot of pressure, man. What's the pressure? Well, no, oh no, though. Technically, though, he was on the he was on the he was on the last episode of Edge and Christian's TV show on WWE Network. But his character is a legend that has returned. <sighs> We've used appearing in the ring as a qualifier in other areas. Okay, well, all right, so technically Jeff Jarrett didn't enter the ring at all in. He was just as a manager in a managerial capacity. I think I got to do the right thing here and do two. So he technically did not. I think I have to do two. Yes, sir. If it were you, I'd be saying it's two. So I think that's exactly right. (laughs) I mean, no hesitation if it was one of those. All right. Two. We got two challenges. Oh, this is this makes me so happy right now. <laughs> Brian, challenge number one is going I to spray take myself it. in the face with the bidet for five seconds. That's exactly correct. All right. 
And I want the world to know that at least two dumps have been taken right here within the last 30. I think it's going on Instagram as well. That's what's happening. Yes. Are you ready, David? I've been ready. You need to angle down a little bit, Steve. Yeah. I've been ready for this. Oh! I'm going. One, two, three. Ah! 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 Alright, you could use your imagination here. What does that look like? <laughs> Stupid Jeff Jarrett. Jeff Jarrett is an idiot. Well, I'm gonna lather myself with Purell and put a half pound of rubber bands on my arms for 20 minutes. This sucks. Okay. <laughs> Challenge number two. <coughs> Time to lather up. <laughs> will, you, will, you, will you forever hate that thing music? Uh, <laughs> oh... How's that feel? It's the, I mean, it's gonna be clean. Yeah, yeah, clean. I mean, I did just spray myself with the bidet, so I'm gonna do a little bit up here, too. Oh. I, mean, <laughs> I had to get close uh -huh. to the duty, too. So I don't know that we're gonna show me put all of these on. Oh, that's gonna be much worse than I thought it was gonna be already. Uh -huh. I had to put this whole sack of all. The entire bag. We'll come back once they're all on there. Yeah. So I've, uh,. Uh, not very many of the rubber bands and uh, losing circulation oh. in the hands. So I offer trade. If I drink a shot of bidet water, can I replace this challenge with that? I vote you get sprayed again for five seconds. I think you need to do that. Sprayed again for five seconds? I think it is safer for you to do that. Oh, okay. <laughs> so Brian's got to go round two. Because the better rubber, than hand amputation, I was losing feeling in the limbs. Yes, yeah, so that, that that was. I'm actually glad you're doing so you this. You want to get back in there and get a better. You yeah, come on, I can't. Come, David is like, come on and get zoomed in on it. Are we ready? Oh, we're ready. Touch it. Ah! 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 Is it Oh! 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 You good? You good? You good? You good? It got in my mouth. <laughs> Oh, I hate Jeff Jarrett. Somehow my own game has gone terribly awry. And we're still just paused on Jeff. He could get eliminated. We haven't even got... Next. I'm going to combine two different flavors of Jello and two different flavors of pudding into one bowl and eat it. Chocolate, vanilla... Strawberry orange. Time to mix it all together into a nice little concoction and dine. Oh, look at all oh, the juice. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Snack pack. It's <sighs> Drew over there doing sabotaging the game. No, I'm just looking to see who's got it when people are. Yeah, don't cheat. Don't spoil it now. I thought I was going to be good with two, three, and four getting a Seth Rollins. Through two and three, all I've gotten is three challenges. You still got one more, don't you? Yes. It's going to end up being another kind of challenge. Oh, man. Look at... Oh, dude. Oh, man. Just already, before the pudding's in play, it looks horrendous. Like that looks like vomit. Oh, man. Go ahead. Like, you're going to have a hard time. You got to eat the whole bowl? Yes. Oh, There's not a time limit. Gross. I just have to eat it. Oh, well, I can't let it spill. I don't want to go oh. back to the day. Oh, gross. Oh. Are you filming my action? No. Oh, I'm filming the action, but not well. Good thing I pureled. Oh, this is gross. Drew, you look like this is disgusting. Man. Drew won't look. He'll throw up. That's why he's hiding. I mean, he's actually like trying to watch, like intently. But, oh, are you back? I but it looks like he's like kind of want very uncomfortable. This? He's very uncomfortable right now, just watching. Well, the thing that y'all, you yeah, both should be uncomfortable is. Now that David and I have taken up, what, eight of the 14 challenges? Oh, it, it's yeah. getting extreme with what's yeah, remaining. Yeah, it's, it's about to... Okay, yeah, this is gross. This is not... Look at that. Oh, man. Some people might actually think this is, like, pretty tasty, though. I, well... Surely there's a viewer Independently. Out, surely there's a viewer out there that's like... All right, if you're, if you're watching this and you would like to have this as your meal, leave it in the comments and say, I'd like to rub that all over my bosom. <laughs> I'd like to have that rubbed all over my bosom. Oh. <laughs> all right, so is it taste or consistency or both that makes it bad? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Subpar. 
No. Mm -mm. This is going to be rough. <laughs> I have Titus O'Neil at number 11. He was in the ring for three seconds. So I get to do my uh, next challenge. I haven't finished this pudding yet either. <laughs> I've just finished that. Just in time for my four packages of honey mustard. Yes. Four Chick-fil-A straight. It says straight and it says tongue and all. I made up these stupid rules anyways. Oh, no, that person's an idiot. <laughs> she fired from the challenge All making. All of that. Ugh. I'm going to throw up. Just let me out now. I think there's going to have to be like a... Uh, a water. An unrated version. There, there has to be... Like, I, don't, I didn't put that this has to be uninterrupted, so y'all can decide if I'm allowed to drink a water in the middle of this. Yeah, there's no time on it. Yeah, I mean... Oh! Man, honey mustard doesn't smell near as good by itself. I would just go ahead and get it over with. Just hand me the bowl. Yeah, what what's, what do I say? You just don't think about it, just do it? Uh, yeah, where's all the motivational pep talks you were giving David? Okay. I'm on four challenges within like six minutes. All right, just don't... Then Mind over matter. Mind over matter. Just think about the coconut water. You did it that way. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> you can't make that noise, man. <laughs> so why is that so bad? You can do it. Come on, come on. You can do it. You can do it. You can uh, do can it. Can I Here. use a spoon and tongue? Here. Oh, are you still not done with that first one? Okay. No. Right. Okay. Because uh, you can't get it. Oh. Mm. Mm. Okay. <laughs> it's all right. You can, you can make it. You this can make a, it. This is bad. It's. Oh. Oh. oh, yeah, yeah. That's kind of like a gold dust there. Oh. All right, here's the other one. Oh, goodness gracious. Hand me that water. Right, yeah, 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 yeah. I got to clean the pot. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do it, do it. Oh, God. <laughs> I need you to drink the water. Andrew looks like he's going to stop. We still have three to go. Oh, no, hush oh. with that, Chad. Stop. Come on, come on, come on. Who come on. did this to me? Titus O'Neil. Actually, you made the rules, so. You hush. You did. <laughs> I'm blowing it like it's something hot. <sighs> Just do it. Don't think about it. Just do it. Do it, 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 do it. What you don't understand, unless you, for some reason, are eating spoonfuls of honey mustard at the time. As honey mustard bonds to the things you're eating it with, and it takes on that consistency. You've never experienced its own unique consistency. Oh. Which is... You're having a hard time. Well. Oh. 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 Drew, you're just kind of like tucked in the corner over there. Yeah, wash the mouth out. Give it to me. Oh, Give oh, it. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Oh. All right. Yeah, because Steve, if, because if he throws up, I'm throwing up. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you right now. Don't think about it. I won't. I can do I'll, it. Ostrich in the couch right now. Oh, Just oh, God. Wait. <laughs> mm. You got one more? It could have been sweet and like that sweet <laughs> hot honey mustard. From like, <laughs> it could be that sweet hot mustard from like McDonald's. I think that could be worse. It would be worse. Uh, <laughs> Oh, last one, last one, grand finale. Oh, oh. Come on, baby, kick them daisies. You got this. This is the part you of the, got this. this is going to be the part of the video. It's, there's, uh, yeah, yeah, I know. This is the part of the video where either people are going to fast forward. Come on. Or, yeah, are y'all watching this all the really way through? Really enjoy it. There needs to be a comment say that I, I, there needs to be some kind of comment stating that they have watched the entire segment of all four packs because that, this is kind of difficult. <laughs> oh, you did it. I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of you, Brian. Good job, buddy. That's awful. I'm just getting tore. I don't.
Let's just see what happens next. Yes, we've got an instant replay. Steve's got No Way Jose here at uh, number 15 with the conga line. One, two, see you, No Way Jose. Your turn, big boy. Steve has selected to eat two whole habanero peppers, not the stem, but everything else in 60 seconds. So uh, Drew's gonna start the timer. You got a timer? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Are you excited, Steve? Are you just gonna bite, bite, and be done? Yeah, I'm with this as quick as possible. Yeah, you don't want to do the honey mustard scenario. Some water. Oh, look at the poo painting. He'll need water after the fact. Uh, you know? All right, Drew's got the timer ready. Mm -hmm. On your mark, sir. When you bite, he'll start. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> oh no. I'm not sure that you were aware of exactly what you chose. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, oh my. You gotta swallow in 60 or you have to take another challenge. He's pacing. Oh, oh, oh. How much time's left, Drew? 30 seconds. Choke him down, kid. Swallow. Just show Swallow. us the empty mouth. Show us the empty mouth. Mm -hmm. Come on, Steve. Mm -hmm. We believe in you. 20 seconds, Steve. Uh, uh, well done. Steve, the aftermath's coming in a couple hours. That aftermath came quick. Too. And you're going to go over there with that bidet. It's, uh, we have 15 wrestlers remaining. There's only four challenges left. Things have gone really off kilter here quickly. Steve's pacing. He's, he's in pain. Well, back to it. <laughs> We're literally 45 seconds after I stopped the last clip and Drew got Xavier Woods and he was eliminated in two seconds. He was. So Drew finally getting on the challenge board. You can do the Val Venus entrance, do the boogeyman entrance. Eat an entire box of hot tamales in three minutes, or wear the whiteout mask for 20 minutes while icing up your groin. Three minutes isn't bad. What are you gonna do? The hot, what, the hot tamales in three minutes? Three minutes, hot tamales. I've never had hot tamales. What are they? It's like cinnamon Mike and Ike's. Like, I couldn't do it right now. I could not do it. Right now. You're going hot tamales? I don't know. They're gluten free. I've chosen uh, to ice my uh, manhood down for 20 minutes with the mask. Wearing the whiteout mask. Uh, due to the fact that I've eaten entirely too much sugar this evening. And uh, I noticed that even though they're gluten-free and fat-free, hot tamales are 4.5 servings at 110 calories. So that would've been a lot. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this. Ice it. Alexa, set a timer for 20 minutes. 20 minutes, starting now. Ice up, son. How's it going, Drew? Uh, chilly. Alexa, how much time is on the timer? Rule number three. If the person you pick is wearing a mask, you must pick a challenge. Steve just got... Rey Mysterio! Challenge time! Steve, there's three challenges remaining. Eat a whole box of hot tamales in three minutes, which you've said you cannot do currently with the habaneros. Do the Boogeyman entrance or do the Val Venus entrance? Those can both happen after the rumble's over because we have to like do the lights and stuff. What's your pick? Val Venus it is! We'll see you in a little while with that. So I got Lashley. Surely, I think that's safe for at least the 10 seconds. The champion. And it is like a buzzer beater 10 seconds that we have to get the timer for. Now, come on, come on, come on, come on, Bobby. Yes, yes, 11, yes. I was real close to having to do the boogeyman. Well, Nia Jax has assaulted our truth. The same rule applies then for the. He did the challenge and he got Becky Lynch. That's what happened to David. So, if R2 doesn't make it to the ring, you gotta pick a challenge. Nia Is Nia Jax entering the Rumble? You now have Nia Jax? How am I getting Nia Jax twice? Drew. <laughs> <laughs> so, Drew's number 30th entry, R Truth, didn't make it to the ring, and Nia Jax took R Truth's place. This is exactly what happened when Lana didn't make it to the ring, 
And he got Becky Lynch. So you have... Alexa, how much time is on the timer? Oh, three minutes. You have three minutes and ten seconds. So you can eat the box of um, the cinnamon candies in three minutes. Or do the boogeyman entrance after <laughs> Steve does the Val Venus entrance. Which is it going to be? Hmm. <laughs> Difficult. <laughs> Remember, you don't have to eat the gummy worms. You have to put them in the mouth and slobber them on yourself if that helps. <laughs> we need a decision, sir. <laughs> Has the frozen groin impacted your thinking? Are you stunned because you that, Nia Jax is your yeah, entrance? I, I'm, I'm floored by this. Uh, yeah, give me the, the hot tamales, I guess. Oh! <laughs> The timer just went off, and Steve leapt up from the chair to assist getting the, uh... I'm trying to help a brother out. Thank you, Steve. I appreciate it. <laughs> we have four wrestlers left. Andrade. Who has Andrade? I don't even know. Do you have that? Andrade Cien Almas is Drew. Dolph Ziggler is remaining. And that's Drew. And Steve has Rollins and Strowman who are outside the ring, and Drew is about to start eating things. Are you ready for the timer? Gotta eat the hot tamales. Alexa, set the timer for three minutes. There you go. Do work on that piece. Are you excited? Give us. You never have hot tamales. Give us a quick review. They're pretty good candies. No. All right, touch it now. <laughs> Drew is, is fleeing the challenge. Uh, oh. oh, oh, oh. You know what that means, Drew? Oh. That means bidet. Oh. Seth Rollins' winner I means Steve wins. However, he doesn't get his payout until he completes his challenges, which means he has to do the Val Venus entry. And Drew could not finish the cinnamon challenge, has to do the boogeyman entry. So, uh, stay tuned for this. I'm the Boogeyman, and I'm coming to get you. <laughs> 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 that we are ending this episode of dub life for sure thanks to drew and david and steve for a wonderful royal rumble evening victoria earlier you saw james lots of people uh david because he did complete how many challenges did you complete steve uh, three. and you completed five and you each won 50 bucks so david becomes the inaugural winner of the twerking t-rex which he, hey, check it out. Which he is now ha, can defend at any contest of his choosing, but he must defend it at least once before next Royal Rumble. So, some point we have to get it together and choose it. So, any any final words, folks, for the peeps of Dub Life? I can't imagine how people are feeling at this exact moment. I would like very much. <laughs> For you to leave in the comments just what you thought of the final challenge, the Val Venus challenge. I'd like to know what you think. I hear Steve does private parties. Oh, hey! If you like it, tell me you like it, rub it, feel it. Until next time, Drew, give him a squeezy. <laughs> <laughs> squeeze it. Oh,